What's up everybody, this is Dallas Times Alliance Co. and this is another video. Okay everybody, welcome to another Times Alliance Tuesday and today's a special one because we are going over everything I got going on here. First I would like to say, excuse me for being so damper, but I have a special event that I'm going to right after I film this and uh, which requires me not to wear a hat so I have to comb my hair and wear a button up and unfortunately not yet times the line doesn't have any button ups but I'm sure we will some flannels at least and uh, but like I said don't have a hat because I gotta comb my hair back to the regularly scheduled times and lines Tuesday okay so just to kinda give you a little bit of background shall I say this whole bench I had since I was freshman in high school I'm now 24 uh, can't do the math that quick Anyway, I've had this since then. I did my school projects on there. I did, in fact, hold on. This was one of those uh, projects. And I gotta be honest on this one, that whole contraption right there. But this motor and gears and all that, my dad made that part, gonna be honest. So we made that freshman year. Don't know why, but my dad still doesn't want to get rid of it. I think we should. It's covered in dust. But it's still cool. It's cool to kind of reminisce and think about us working on a school project together. But anyway, so that being said, I've had this whole bench since I was freshman in high school. And many of projects have been started and not always finished. So now it is converted. As you can see, it is a form of studio. I have... Tons of fishing lures here. Oh, you can see I got some old arrows. A friend of mine bought that for me. That I made at my first job. Uh, that's a Burton Symbol snowboard company, if you don't know. Uh, browning, of course, tines and lines. Got some crappie that my dad bought, or not bought, caught a few years ago. Glance of what I got going on here. I still use it at a workshop. I got my old toolbox and all my electrical tools there. And this here, this is kind of. Um, workspace studio I don't know all these terminologies guys but I'll sit here I'll sit right here and I'll do some editing if I want to sit outside in the garage and I'll take pictures against for the shirts or for the hats I'll take pictures against that uh, speaker so I can hear what's going on bow case fishing rods those are mostly ocean here's all the fresh water stuff if you'll notice all of these Designs, drawings, spray paint, all this stuff, graffiti, whatever. I drew pretty much all that in high school, early years of high school, and later years of high school, and I, I think I drew something the other day. Like 10th, 11th grade, I was kind of into like hot rods. You see, I got a hot rod here. Oh, it's like a rat rod, more so. Uh, got some wannabe looking pinstripe designs, like paint. Let's see. Let's check some of this out. So there is, this is the, the rat rod that I drew, some pinstripe, some more, oh, I messed up on that one apparently, some more pinstripes. Get her done. I always like drawing flames, I don't know why, probably it's something to do with that rat rod or the hot rod thing. I even painted them. Hey, that's me. Okay, so this, this right here, that was actually in my, let's fix this. Let's, let's get a little closer in for more uh, cinematic. That Fin Collectors was, I had an entrepreneurship class. And we had the whole, there was one project for the whole year. Started day one, ended a couple weeks before, last day of school, whatever. And we had to come up with a company. And we had to build a business plan portfolio for this company. And the company I created was Fin Collectors. It was a tackle shop. I was really into deep sea fishing, so it was based in San Diego. And it was just, a, just an average tackle shop, you know, with rods and everything. And But it was really cool because you have to go through inventory and stuff. I wonder where I put that business plan. That kind of sparked the whole idea for Times and Lines. A few years later, graduated 2012, 2015, I had a bull tag and a deer tag. My buddy Jordan, you've seen on the, on the on the vlog, he had an antelope tag, 
bull tag. We actually had the same bull tag. I think he had a deer tag also, but didn't go on it because of the antelope tag. Something like that. And that year is the year we created Tines and Lines, the Instagram page. So I knew I wanted Tines because antlers, Tines, I knew I wanted Tines. And I was like, dude, the only thing I could think of is fin or scale because of the uh, tackle shop or whatever that I had created in high school. You know, t Tines obviously for antlered, for hunting subjects. And then I wanted something for the subject of fishing. I was just like fins, scales, tines and fins, tines and scales. That doesn't sound right, dude. What, what should we do? And he's like, bro, tines and lines. So ever since then, tines and lines, that's what it was. And then if you, the almost an exact year later, I took the tines and lines Instagram and made tines and lines co the clothing brand. So anyway, backstory of all that stuff. We can go into more of that another time. Ooh, let's get back out. Oh, whoa, not that close. Oh, Jesus. Help us, Lord. This is where all the Tines and Lines inventory is. And we got some back over there, too. So that being said, um, I got stuff everywhere here. It's clean and organized, but it's still not enough. That will wrap up today's Tines and Lines Tuesday episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. If you guys have any workbenches like this or have a specific spot where you put all your hunting and fishing stuff, uh, let me know. That'd be cool. Uh, send pictures or something because that's cool to see people's own organization and ways and style of what people do with their garage. Um, so, uh, that all being said, this is Dallas Times Lines Co. and you just watched another Times Lines Co. video. So, uh, I guess all there is now to do is uh, cue the workshop slash studio B-roll.